Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. Murat Gassiev has made a successful entrance into the heavyweight division, having returned over the weekend, getting a first round stoppage in Russia in a place called Krasnaya Polyanna, beating a Albanian Nuri Safiri, 43 year old Nuri Safiri, who was listed at 5'11", but maybe about 5'8", and it really wasn't much chop, but he's in the division. We can officially call Murat Gassiev a heavyweight now. He certainly made us wait well over two years since his last fight before this one and that was a loss to Alexander Usyk in the final of the World Boxing Super Series and it feels like it's been a long time. He obviously also signed on to a co-promotional deal with Matchroom and DAZN but actually never fought on that platform of DAZN in the United States having left and um, seemingly no sort of fight put up by Matchroom, who for a time did claim he was with them, but that's by the by. But in terms of this fight, not really much to say because it was all over in, you know, inside a round, half a round or so. Basically, um, Murat Gassiev, he looked good, come forward, hit Nuri Safiri, the 43-year-old Albanian Tyson, as he goes by, on the chin with a right hand, goes down, ref waves it off. I mean, it's it's really hard to sort of say too much about the performance because, you know, it was against a limited opponent who was he was bringing up from cruiserweight for this fight. And the guy was pretty uh, long in the tooth and not very good. Whereas Murat Gassiev, obviously, he had been a champion at cruiserweight and one of the best cruiserweights uh, that was running around. And he is expected to make some noise at heavyweight. We have certainly just been made to wait to see him really make this entrance into the division and then obviously the what next. But I would say, so Murat Gassiev, who came into this fight at 230 pounds, he certainly um, looks like he settled into the weight well. And at 230, I thought, yeah, he actually looks like a, you know, a proper minted heavyweight. It wasn't like some cruiserweights who, when they come up, you kind of go, well, they actually look a little bit fleshy and flabby. It, it kind of doesn't look like they sort of suit the weight. Clearly, Murat Gassiev uh, was part of his issue at cruiserweight. He was really boiling down to get down to 200 pounds. But he's obviously enjoying this uh, little bit of extra food that he can have at heavyweight. He doesn't have to make weight. But I think somewhere around 230, I mean, he looked pretty decent at it. I guess against maybe better opposition, maybe it'll be a tad lighter. But I wouldn't expect Murat Gassiev, who is what listed at, I'll just double check here, uh, says six foot three and a half, but I think it's more like about six foot two. Uh, I wouldn't expect him to weigh too much more than 230 pounds going forward. Can't really take too much of this fight, but he is at the weight now. And I do think that he can do some things in the heavyweight division. Let's remember that um, the likes of an Alexander Usyk or Tyson Fury, for example, they're the exception rather than the rule. A lot of guys that Murat Gassiev will be facing in the heavyweight division are going to be there for him to actually get some work away on. A lot of heavyweights don't have great footwork, especially, you know, when you start getting outside of the top 10 or top 15. It could be a bit of a mixed bag about how good some guys really are. If they do have some skills, maybe they're down on power or they're not great technicians, but they can move a bit. I mean, I think there is going to be some matchups for Murat Gassiev where he can be put in there. He's going to get some knockouts. He's going to look good. And even against guys who are in the top 20 right now, with his power, because he can crack, and guys like Chris Ariola have sparred him before, said that he's the hardest puncher that Ariola had ever faced. So I don't doubt that Murat Gassiev can crack at heavyweight and that he can carry that power up and he can actually do well in certain matchups. I think as we saw against Alexander Usyk, if you can move, you can um, sort of thwart him, you know, keep turning him. You know, he can't set his feet, get some of those power punches away. It becomes much more harder for Gassiev. But I mean, we saw that against Derek Chisora, Alexander Usyk, you know, that's true of a lot of heavyweights um, in the division. And I wouldn't mind actually seeing a fight between Murat Gassiev and also Derek Chisora, but maybe because uh, Gassiev parted ways um, with Matchroom, maybe we won't see him again soon on one of those types of shows or, you know, in terms of those types of arrangements, co-promotional deals. But if he is going to be campaigning in Russia, for example... 
there is some fights to be had. And I think against domestic opposition, there's a couple of guys with some ratings and rankings that could actually be targets for Ramirat Gassiev. And I guess one for me at least, I mean, he's a WBO ranked fighter, is Yevgeny Romanov. I mean, that could potentially happen, I think. Another fight that could be there for him is the Russian heavyweight Abdi Dovtaev, who was co-promoted by Dmitry Salita. I mean, they're sort of guns for hire in the uh, Salita stable, generally selling away a B-side sort of fight. So why couldn't they set something up like that? I mean, potentially at a stretch, he could kind of go Sergei Kuzman, but he is currently on a deal with Matchroom. I don't know the ins and outs of that, but someone like Kuzman, who actually does have a rating or two in the top 15, I mean, I'm not sure how based on some recent performances, but, you know, I would I would pick Murat Gassiev to beat Sergei Kuzman. I think that would sort of suit Gassiev right down to the ground. Romanov, he would be a tougher sort of out given, you know, his style. Abdi Dovtayev, haven't really seen a lot of him, but I think, you know, Murat Gassiev against uh, a lot of the sort of there or thereabouts heavyweights uh, that are around, you know, sort of his level potentially, he'd be in with a good chance of beating them. And especially with his power, he might get some knockouts too. Against Romanov, he would be the bigger guy. So I do think there are some matchups out there and there'll be some other names too that you can think of. But I just hope that the activity is more than we've seen, that he can actually, you know, have another fight or two, stay active in the next couple of months, really sort of uh, shake off some of that ring rust, show us what he can really do, or at least show us some glimpses of what is still to come. Remembering Gassiev is only 27 years old. And it sort of seems weird sort of saying that, but, um, you know, over two years ago, I think he was 24 when he fought Usyk and he's probably um, been working away in the gym. Maybe he's a bit better than he was previously. I don't know. But at heavyweight, he can make some money. He can be some good matchups. I'm not saying he's going to be a champion, but I think he can be in some fun fights. What do you make of this first fight? Wasn't much chop for me. It's hard to take too much from it, but he is in the division now. Drop a comment loud and often. Hit like, hit subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, boxing underscore squared. I'm out.